to Billy Acres Kitchen. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is raining outside. It is 74 degrees. It's just amazing. Um, we are going to make homemade chicken pot pie tonight for supper, but we're going to do it without an oven. So we still don't have a kitchen in here. We still don't have my stove in here. So we're just going to make it work. So come on, let's get started. All right, so I've already rinsed off my chicken. So I'm going to cut it into little chunks. Some garlic and herb here this isn't mrs dash is what i usually use but this is from pampered chef um i've never used it obviously it's still closed but i'm gonna go with it and see what happens i'm out of mrs dash so i just chop that up into chunks Ooh, that smells good i do some pepper and some salt And then I'm just going to oh mix that God. up. All right. So I'm just going to set that aside while I start heating up the oil. All right. So while my oil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some vegetables real quick. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin All right, you guys, so while this chicken is cooking, and I've already got all of the um, vegetables chopped up, I'm going to go ahead and start on something else. I'm going to make, I saw a recipe for PB&J uh, breakfast bars, and I'm so excited, oat bars, I'm so excited to try it. All right, you guys, so, when you know it, I looked for that same recipe. I know better than to just not look at a recipe and not write it down or take a screenshot, but I didn't. So I looked for it and I couldn't find the same one, but I kind of just read a whole bunch of different recipes and I'm just gonna kind of wing it, right? So I've got some creamy peanut butter here. I think it would be better with crunchy peanut butter. You know, you want that crunch, but um, crunchy peanut butter is kind of banned in my house. Rusty's sitting over there on the couch looking at me like, ooh, right, like, ooh. But the good thing about being able to make these at home is Mama and Rusty are both diabetic, so we have to be super careful about the sugar that they eat. I mean, I still don't cook super great for diabetics, but, um, you know, when I can, I try to be good. So half a cup. Of peanut butter this is what I'm gonna use you guys I have looked at a whole bunch of different things and I've just kind of made up my own like what I'm gonna use right so I'm gonna do half a cup of peanut butter I'm gonna go two tablespoons of 
sugar-free syrup, one and a half cups of oats, and some jam. I'm not making a real big batch because I don't know if anybody's gonna like it. I also have some lightly salted almonds that I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there to kind of make up for that crunch that we're not gonna get from crunchy peanut butter that we're not allowed to have in the house. Okay, and the kind of jam I'm gonna use, it's Skinny Girl sugar-free it's cocktail inspired so it's a strawberry rose jam it's really good i really like it um we do have some regular jam but i like i said i'm going to try to make these as um diabetic friendly as i can um you know but first this chicken is looking amazing so i'm going to go ahead and pull this chicken uh, it smells good. <laughs> all right, so we're going to have all of this great chicken flavor in here. We're not going to change this out. We're just going to dump our vegetables right into that same grease right there. I was so excited to be able to make this because I had that celery in there. I've made several different dishes with that celery, but nobody here likes celery just raw. Um, so I have to cook it. I have to be creative about cooking it because sometimes it's even, ew, did you put celery in that? So I was excited to be able to make some uh, chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna let that cook together. I'm gonna set that aside and let's get back to our cereal bars. You're gonna make cereal bars? We're gonna try it, Mama. All right. Do you need some help? No, ma'am. Okay. okay, so half a cup of peanut butter. So I don't have a stove, and I do want this to kind of get, it's already creamy, but I, I'm going to try mixing it with this um, maple syrup, and then if it still doesn't break down the way I need it to, or get creamier, I'm going to have to put it in the microwave. Peanut butter. And we decided on two tablespoons of maple syrup. Again, this is sugar-free maple syrup. Like I said, I'm not making a very big batch at all just because I don't know that we're gonna like it. Mix that together. I'm going to dump that in the microwave for just a little bit. So I just had this really nostalgic feeling when I uh, mixed that together because when my big three were little, I used to make goop and goop was uh, peanut butter, maple syrup, and grape jelly. You mix it together and throw that on a sandwich. Game changer. Oh, or if you have leftover graham crackers, which we never have leftover graham crackers, but if you did, you could just make some um, little cookie sandwiches with goop. Yes, good stuff. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put my quarter of a cup of strawberry, or yeah, strawberry rose um, jelly. So here's the thing about this there's probably about that much left in there. So even if I measured out a quarter of a cup, I probably wouldn't have very much left to put in the fridge. So I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in there. We'll schedule our lives. Oh yeah, that's looking like goop. Okay. Now, he's 
these are old fashioned rolled oats. I'm going to do one and a half cups. Now, one thing I would suggest to do, if I weren't putting almonds in this, or lightly salted almonds, is to put a pinch of salt, because anytime you're working with something super sweet, you do want to put a pinch of salt in there. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, then I have these lightly salted almonds that need to get used up. I just opened it. Taste it for freshness. Oh, that's probably a quarter of a cup. You want it to be the consistency of, say, a popcorn ball. You want it to adhere together like that you can shape it. So if it's too runny at this point, add more oats. If it's not runny enough, put a little bit more syrup in there. Again, I'm winging this, guys. We need to jump over here because I think my carrots are burning. All right. I am noticing that I do have a little bit too much oil in this pan. So I am going to drain it just a little bit. Just a tiny tad. A tiny tad? Tiny tad. I mean, we want to leave enough. We want to leave enough oil in there. See, I pulled that out to be able to make our roux. So. All right, you guys, I keep my flour in the freezer. In the, in the summer, summertime because if I don't, we end up with those little bow weevils or whatever they're called. Weevils, not bow weevils, weevils. All right, so I probably want about four tablespoons, give or take, of flour there. I'm gonna dump some more pepper in that and some salt. Okay, mix that up. We want that, we want that flour to cook. We want it to mix in with all of that goodness and cook. All right, you guys. So now that my flour has cooked with all of that, I'm going to go ahead and use some chicken broth. I don't always have chicken broth in the house, but I'm lucky today. Get enough out of there. Shake it up. Just shake it up, baby. I love that there's a whole lot of little chicken bits on that, on those vegetables. Kind of see it. Fried up chicken bits. All right. That is looking beautiful. After it thickens up a little, I'm going to grab. whipping cream again guys if you're new here wow I am not good at measuring it's more eyeball on it put a little bit of cream in there give it that creamy goodness
All right, you guys, now here's where it's gonna get. I'm gonna start working right out of the pantry. Eventually, I will have home canned peas and home canned corn for right now. We're just dumping it right out of the can. just leave just a little bit of the juice in there just you don't want that roux to get too thick if you have frozen peas or mixed vegetables you can always throw that in there I'm not even putting potatoes in this one um, just because I didn't peel any but really in a chicken pot pie it's really whatever you want to put in there Whatever your family likes to eat. That is beautiful. I'm going to let that cook down for a little bit. Set that aside. While it's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add this chicken back in. And we're going to let all of that goodness cook together. We're gonna let that cook together for just a little bit before we add the crust to it and throw it in the roaster. So I'm gonna need the roaster for both things. Here late in the game, I'm going to add a little bit more garlic and herb, some salt, a little bit of pepper. We're going to throw some parsley in there. Hi. Hi. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rachel. I'm terrified of these. So somebody else has to open them. Please don't open it behind me. <laughs> I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> Do not have an oven. I have a rock crock. We love these rock crocks. This is from Pampered Chef. I uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. You can put it on open fire. You can you can set it on top of the burner. You can put it inside the oven. You can boil in it. You can do all of these wonderful things in it. So I love it. I'm going to we're going to dump this right in here. you say wouldn't that be hard to cook in you say not really or more like what kitchen huh I do like to use puffed pastry on the top of pot pies but uh, crescent rolls works just as well lay this in here. These are not the best. Last couple of cans of these I've gotten have been kind of wonky. And literally just cover it. Some up on the 
the sides here so we make it a little bit of a crusty crust. At the end of the day, it's just dough, so just make it work. All right, so there's what that looks like. Okay, my roaster, literally just going to set that rock crock in there. Put this on top of it. Set it to 350. Probably 375. Let that sucker cook. That's it. Don't have an oven. This works just as well. All right, so I'm just gonna use my crock pot, well, mama's crock pot. And I'm going to dump this in there. This actually may be a little too uh, thick now that it's set for a minute. Okay, I don't have a cake pan in here. It's in storage, which storage is right outside, but it's outside in the shed. It is raining. In boxes. I'd have to go and look for it, so. All right, so a trick I learned making uh, popcorn balls and stuff. I know peanut butter is not as sticky, but when you're messing with sticky stuff, just spray your hand with some spray. And then flatten, flatten, flatten. Okay. You can't get on top. It smells amazing. I tasted it. Not real sweet. Which breakfast bars aren't really supposed to be that sweet, but anyway. Now what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to leave it sitting here until our um our uh, pot pie is done and then I'm going to put it in the roaster for 30 minutes at 350 degrees so all right stay tuned all right you guys so here we go big old bite mm. good so the crust Amazing. is nice and crispy um it's a little bit late because we had our live tonight there you go nice and flaky on the inside crispy top yep. awesome 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 and then we'll go and check these um cereal bars here in just a little bit all right you guys so i went ahead and tried the cereal bars i just kind of stuck my fork in there and tried them uh they came out really good um uh, texture wise but i tried them and i'm gonna be real honest they are not sweet enough because my sugar loving family is not gonna like them. So what I did is I took some honey, just plain regular honey, and I drizzled it all over the top. It smells amazing. I just don't understand why it's not, you know, sweet enough, but. Definitely a game changer. Drizzling the honey on top, and that's still gonna, be healthier than a whole bunch of sugar so I think we're gonna be okay with that um, I think they'll like it I like it if they don't like it I'll just sit here and eat it but anyway I don't know if you guys can see it the lighting in here is ter terrible but um, I drizzled that honey on there after it was um, I mean, while it was still warm, so it really kind of smoothed out in there. So, anyway, I think that's pretty good. You can make it with regular um, jelly also, and that would probably sweeten it up a lot. But I really wanted to make a healthy version of it um, so that Rusty and Mama could eat it without having to worry about their blood sugar, like, skyrocketing. It still, I mean, it still has sugar. It just doesn't have... It has natural sugar, I guess is what I should say. So, uh, anyway. All right, you guys. I hope you like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Don't forget to smash that bell to get notified of the next new video when it comes out. 
make sure you're checking out uh, Robertson's Belly Acres as well because there's a lot going on over there. But um, anyway, until next time, you guys, God bless.